What's going on guys? Over the past few days, I've been feeling kind of tired and no matter what I do, I just can't get a pump at the gym. So today, I've decided to have a refeed day. It's basically a day where you double your carb intake, you keep your fats as low as possible, and you slightly drop your protein. This will give me a mental and psychological boost, restore my leptin hormone, and completely replenish my glycogen, which will improve gym performance and give me mad pumps in the gym. I know you aren't supposed to have refeed days while you're bulking, but I need it, okay? And by the way, my normal intake during a bulk will look something like this. And today, they're gonna look more like this. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you how to get absolutely massive. Let's do it. What's going on guys? So for breakfast, I was going to have pancakes. I was going to redeem myself from last time's full day of eating, but I just opened the fridge and realized that I have absolutely nothing. So now I'm going to first go on a very early grocery shop to get all the foods I need. So I'll see you guys there. Yep, back in no frills because they are the lowest prices guaranteed. So I started off with the pitas because they're a great source of fiber and a healthy source of carbs. And then I grabbed some bananas for the pancakes that I was making for breakfast and some bread because who doesn't like bread? And for some more complex carbs, I grabbed golden potatoes because they're super shiny. My meats, pork wieners which I like to eat for breakfast, ground beef for my tacos, and chicken breast which is a lean and cheap source of protein. And you guys already know me, I love my oats. This time I got the cookies and cream, peaches and cream, and apple and cinnamon. Summer is coming soon, so I grabbed some ice cream sandwiches and some Kool-Aid drops, zero calorie way to add flavor to your water. And then I grabbed my snacks. Some people might see these snacks as junk food, but all that matters to me is my total daily macronutrient intake, so I allow myself to have treats like this. I got some frozen blueberries and raspberries because they go good in shakes and on top of pancakes. Some hot chocolate powder because it tastes good, salsa to put into my tacos, and rice crackers because they have to stick to my Asian roots. I got some low fat pretzels because they're freaking delicious, some Smarties because I was craving something sweet, and Tic Tacs to make my breath smell better. Alright guys, I just got back from the grocery store, bought some amazing things, so for meal number one, I've decided to have pancakes and an ice cream sandwich. So let's do it. For my pancake mix, I got some cookies and cream oats, some low fat Greek yogurt that's high in protein, an ice cream sandwich, some chocolate flavored whey protein isolate, and baking soda to make my pancakes fat. I got two bananas because they're my favorite fruit, and some frozen blueberries to top my pancakes. Yes, I know, last time my pancakes were pretty bad, I have to admit it, and people were laughing at me because I was making fruit cake when I couldn't even make pancakes, but watch, this time I'm going to prove you all wrong. I've improved, I'm going to win the most improved chef award, so I poured my batter onto the pan, and then that happened. Yeah, I just ruined my pancakes. My first pancakes were a complete and utter failure. So I just dumped those onto a plate and tried again. But this time, yeah, I freaking failed again. I am actually so done. Like, what is this? That's literally like oatmeal. So I'm just gonna drink the rest of this. Screw it, no more pancakes. I'm so done. Alright guys, so I just finished making meal number one. Here I got like oats, supposed to be pancakes, and I topped it with some blueberries. I've got my ice cream sandwich, and my shake. So I'm about to smash this, and I'll see you guys at meal number two. What's up guys, it's been around one hour since my first meal, and for this meal, it's more of like a mid-morning snack to keep me filled until my third meal, which is gonna be a bigger one. So I've got some Smarties, but to smash this, see you guys at meal number three. Alright guys, so I was gonna have a massive meal three, but I'm actually not that hungry, probably because of that massive failure of a breakfast I had. So I decided to have pretzels. They're a great refeed food because there's 40 grams of carbs for only one gram of fat. So I'll be smashing this and I'll check back in with you guys at meal number four. But before we get to meal number four, after first smash your workout, today is push day, I'll be targeting the triceps and chest. And just a hint for you guys, 
You want to have your hardest workouts on your refeed days because you'll have a lot more energy from the extra carbs that you're consuming. So now, I'll see you guys at meal number four. For my fourth meal, I'll be having pasta. This is whole wheat pasta that's high in fiber and low in fat, which is why pasta is a perfect refeed day food. And I had some leftover tomato sauce, which I used. I used mushrooms, onions, and zucchini for my vegetables. And as you guys know, I wasn't that hungry during the morning, so I decided to throw in a sandwich for this meal. I chose to have a banana and blueberry sandwich because I can't really have meats like bacon and ground beef because they're too high in fat for a refeed day. I decided to puree my bananas and added some extra stevia for sweetness because I was too lazy to cut my bananas up. I toasted some bread, this is just plain whole wheat bread, and I topped off my sandwich with frozen blueberries, which are the only frozen food that I really like. So while my pasta cooks, I'll be having my bread, banana, and blueberry sandwich. It's gonna be lit. I'll finish this, and then I'll finish cooking the pasta. I'll show that to you guys. I'll see you then. This is actually my second time ever making pasta. The first time I made it, I didn't boil the pasta for long enough, so the pasta was still too hard. So this time, I made sure to cook it for long enough, so it was nice, soft, and absolutely delicious. What's going on guys? I got the second half of meal number four here, the pasta. You already know that this is going down in a couple minutes flat. This is the Titanic and I'm the iceberg about to bring that baby down. All right guys, so after my fourth meal, I was feeling really good from all those extra carbs. So I decided to hit another workout. Absolutely killed it. And I'm actually starving again, even though it's only one hour after the fourth meal. So I think I'm gonna have some oats, I might throw some bananas on there, some frozen fruit. Anyway, let's do it. So I like to have at least one bowl of oats per day. Today I used the peaches and cream flavor, and I added some extra chocolate to make it super sweet. And of course, I had to add bananas. It's still my favorite fruit, and they add some extra carbs and fiber. I usually add stevia with my oats, but this time I already had the chocolate powder, so that was not necessary. I just finished making meal number four, chocolate oats topped with bananas, and I had to add a side of hot chocolate because I'm hot and I like chocolate. So I'm about to crush this and I'll see you guys for the last meal of the day. What's up guys? So I was just looking at my macros and I realized that I still have 100 grams of carbohydrates left. So I've decided to have potatoes for my final meal. I'll bake them so they're like fries and I'll grab some ketchup on the side. So let's do it. I chose to have potatoes for my final meal because they're a complex carbohydrate. So it takes longer to digest, meaning that my body will have carbohydrates throughout the entire night. I'll also have sweet potatoes fries but it all depends on if I feel like having something salty or sweet okay, so I got my final meal of the day some potatoes and I added some ketchup too this is gonna be good I'm gonna finish it real quick I'll see you guys later all right guys so that was the full day of eating these were my total macros for the day I'm pretty happy because I hit the 600 grams of carbs that I wanted to tomorrow I'm gonna go back to my normal bulking diet Right now, I'm gonna hit the lights. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get a hell of a workout in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Stay massive.